One KCK mom's fight to walk again is bigger than just her. She wants to play with her four year old son again and go somewhere without having to call ahead. That chance to put one foot in front of the other again could come, though, at a big cost. Fox Wars Malik Jackson is live outside the University of Kansas Health Systems with her story. Malik. Remy Hayes has paid many visits to this hospital you see behind me for tests and treatments, but she's hopeful that these visits to the hospital will soon cease. The price tag may force her to sell everything that she owns. The reward, the opportunity not to only watch her son play, but to play with her son. Oh, big boy. I love you. The simple joy of playing with your children from Legos to racing cars is something some take for granted, but not Ramey Hayes. It's really hard to not be able to pick him up, swing him around, you know, like most mamas do, not being able to walk him into preschool like a normal mom. Hayes' health struggles started 15 years ago when she was first diagnosed with multiple sclerosis at just 22 years old. Years later, it was fibromyalgia and then something she thought was minor, a torn labrum in her hip. After I had my surgery, everything was better. It was a lot better. Your body feels like you stuck your feet in snow. Like when you're little, it gets so cold that it burns. Post-surgery, she was diagnosed with chronic regional pain syndrome, one of the most debilitating and painful conditions known to the human body. She lost her ability to walk, to move around, and now relies on a motorized wheelchair. The condition so painful that a survey found nearly 50% of people with CRPS contemplate suicide that has went across my mind regularly that they would be better off without me just because of everything you deal with after finding the spirit clinic it's given me hope it's given me hope and made me think completely differently it is that clinic that's given her new perspective but it will come at a big cost insurance won't cover it the price nearly four thousand dollars a week for 14 weeks of intensive rehab, her family now prepared to sell everything they own so she can walk again. I realized I'm going to have my life back and it, it wasn't an option for me. So I didn't care. I didn't care what we had to sell, what we had to do as long as I had my family. And she will have her family. Hey, says to women and to really anyone in general to advocate for your health. It's the most important thing that you can do. And if you would like to help the Hayes family, because they do, in fact, need your help, you can click on this story that's already posted on fox4kc.com. Scroll to the bottom and a link to their GoFundMe to help her get to this clinic in Arkansas so she can walk again. All well, that information is there.